Yo, yo, yo. So I am just popping to CEX. I'm going to take back the the games I wasn't happy with, with my roulette. So if you see the last video, you will see I had a big CEX roulette. And there's a few games I wasn't happy with. I think there's five in there-ish. I'm going to try and return them. If they won't accept them, I will just trade them in for vouchers anyway. So regardless, they're going and I will end up with some sort of credit. But while I'm here, because... I don't have a CEX in my town, so this is the nearest town to me with a CEX, Merthyr Tidfil. I'm going to have a quick look around the charity shops and regenerate and things like that. So let's have a look and see if we can get these returned. Well, that was easy. No questions asked. They didn't even open the games, which I found a bit, you know, not suspect, but a bit silly, really. So I basically went in. I said, look, I've done an online order. I want to return a few items if possible. Yep, no problem. So I put them on the desk. He just took the order number off me and he didn't even open any of the the games he just said croc yeah tekken three da, 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 went through all the games and that was that so for the you know the less honest of us th those manuals some of them were really good condition um like abe's odyssey it um it was the full cover manual and it was really really good condition i could have pinched all the manuals out of there and then bought without manuals and saved a few quid. But I'm not going to do that. But that is a bit silly them not actually checking. So they didn't check the discs. They didn't check anything. But regardless, I've returned it. I've got a, I, They basically re refund it as you paid. So some of it was voucher, some of it was cash. I've asked could I have it all on voucher. So I get got a voucher returned to me of £81.75. The only issue is they've sent me the email and they've reimbursed everything individually so i've got a voucher of 20 pound a voucher of 27 pound another voucher so i've got about four or five vouchers but not to worry all goes to the fund so that'll go back into the game fund because i i did spend all of my cex vouchers on that big job lot so that's going to go back to the game fund um charity shops were terrible there was nothing about there was an itoy game for ps2 a couple of wii games such as uh we fit um sing you know disney sing all not worth anything and that was that regenerate there was a few games in there i was there for an hour and about but i'm trying to hold back a bit because i have been spend 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 lately and before i know it the game fund's going to be completely gone i've got loads of stuff i've ordered off vinted and ebay to open so I'm, I'm trying to this week i'm trying to hold back on buying just so i can let everything settle wait for all my orders to come open them all up see what i'm working with there's it's like I went to look at, I was looking at Ratchet and Clank Quest for Booty. I can't remember if I got it or not. I don't know. So I need to write a bit more of a detailed list now of what I got and what I haven't. Um, when I was in CX, I was thinking of getting two Prince of Persia games. I don't know if I've already got them. So I need, especially like Tomb Raiders and things like that, I need to write a list now of what I actively need and go from there. So I'll do that this weekend. So that's that. Um, yeah, n nothing to write home about, so... No pickups, apart from a chicken bake and a bacon and cheese wrap. So, yeah, that's my trip to Merthyr. I've got a refund for those items, which was piece of cake. Can't fault them, really. Um, and, yeah, I'll see you all in the games room. So, here we go. So, I'm back in the games room. Now, I haven't got a lot of pickups this week. And the reason behind that is, like I said, I want to let the dust settle because I have had a massive splurge. You would have seen my last video with my big CEX roulette. If you haven't, I will leave a link in the description. It was quite a substantial amount for me. So I had a massive splurge on that and I went nuts on eBay and Vinted as well. Because because I was selling all my consoles and, you know, the game firm was looking really, really healthy. Um, yeah, I've gone a bit mad. But you've seen, if you follow the channel, I had my, my last Sunday video was the biggest pickups video. So there's a load of pickups on there then the cex roulette and then now this isn't as big but there's a fair there's a fair few pickups here as well um and still all of it hasn't come so i want to just let <coughs> excuse me just let everything settle get all my deliveries in that i've ordered and then go from there again we can reassess because i am running out of space a little now what i'll do i'll probably do a little video at the end just to show you how i'm set currently setting things up it's still a mess here, actually, if I'm honest. But, yeah, we're running out of space. So I, need, I do need to rein in a bit, um, keep a bit money, keep a bit of money aside because um, I'm, I'm going to spend it all. I'm going to miss out on 
these little bargains, aren't I? So, anyway, enough of that. Let's go through my pickup. So, I'll start with the smaller stuff. Um, I picked this up off eBay. It's the demo one. It was the demo that came with the PlayStation. So, that boxed PlayStation I got didn't have this in. So, I wanted to copy just to complete that. So, if you... If you remember this demo, it was Ace. You had the, the Tyrannosaurus Rex on there where you could control him and the, the Stingray and things. Some awesome games on here. Hercules I used to love. Porsche Challenge. Rapid Racer. Overboard I used to love playing. So I had this demo. I uh, love this demo. So I'm definitely giving this a bash because this is a nostalgia blast for me. So yeah, I picked that up just to complete that set. Then if we go to... I did discuss in my CEX pickup that I got three Tomb Raider games. Now, these were for, I won these in auction for £45, which I think is a really good price. You know, £15 each. The These are about £20 each games in CEX and stuff like that. So we've got Revelations, we have got Chronicles and Tomb Raider 3. Yeah, 2 and 3. I, I thought I read them wrong. But... Um, all I'm missing now is the original Tomb Raider on PS1, and that will be all the Tomb Raiders for the PlayStation 1. Um, I, I forgot completely that the original Tomb Raider, you can get a double jewel case, so that's the variant I'm going to look out for. That's what I want. So, yeah, they were 45 quid, and then I picked this up on Vinted. It is Spyro, Year of the Dragon. This is the third instalment, I believe. So I've got the three... Spyro games for the PlayStation 1. There is a slight bit of damage with this hinge here. I don't know if you can see. don't know if that happened in posting or not, but it's there regardless. Um, so I'm going to have to do a case upgrade on that. But other than that, it's in pretty good neck. It's got the manual. The disc is clean. You know, it's it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Like I said, a bit of an issue with the hinge, but it is what it is. Now, the next bundle, I got this off Vinted as well. So it's for the PlayStation 4. got Lego Worlds, Lego Movie, and Bendy the Ink Machine. Now, this is a bit of an order. I wouldn't actively go out and buy all this. I do want to get the Lego games, but I'm in no mega rush. But the reason behind this is I wanted to get Bendy and the Ink Machine. Now, the reason that is I've never played it. It looks quite interesting to me. I've heard bad reviews, if I'm honest, but it looks interesting. And I feel it's getting a bit of a cult following, so it may go up in price. So I thought, well, maybe that's one to look out for. £20 in CEX, this is. Did find a copy in Regenerate for £15.99, but it looked like a dog had chewed all the case. So whilst on Vinted, I think someone had these three games for like 25 quid or something. No, it might have been 20. Um, basically, I worked it out with the with the buyer's protection. So I made a lower offer so I could get all three of these for around 20 quid. So basically, I'm getting all these three games for what I would have paid for just that. So to me, they're two free games now. I want to do a live stream on this because when I done my Silent Hill live stream, a lot of people said they enjoyed the horror games and me doing a live stream on a horror was quite funny. This is a horror game. I know it's not going to be the scariest of games, but... I'm going to give it a bash anyway. So, yeah, that was the reason for these pickups. I think they're about 20 quid. I will leave a photo up of the purchase on the screen. Now, this, I, Laura got me this as a present. Pokemon Sword and Shield Strategy Guide. Now, if you watch the channel, you're regular. If not, go back. I have collected every Pokemon game the in the main series, and I want to try and get all the strategy guides. It's not something I'm hitting hard, but if I come across one, I will get one. And Laura found this on Vinted. I can't remember what she paid for. I think she paid six quid. Could be wrong. Laura, leave in the comments what you paid for this, please. I'm not 100% sure. It is sealed, but the seal is ripped. So it's not really going to count as sealed, but we all know that's in good condition if it is basically sealed. So, yeah, I'm more than happy with that. Now, oh, I'll show you one more eBay purchase. The PlayStation Multitap. So, like you know, I'm trying to get all the box accessories for the PlayStation, the original PlayStation. Well, and the others, really, if I can. 
the multi-tap. This is something I never had as a kid. I didn't have as, that many friends. I stuck to two-player games, but um, it's boxed. It's got the paperwork inside and everything, so I was happy with that. I think I paid 19 quid for this. I may have paid less, actually, if I'm, if I'm honest, purely because it was on an auction and no one bid on it. So I stuck in a maximum bid. I basically wanted to pay 20 quid for postage. So I stuck in a maximum bid, because I think the postage was like three quid. So I stuck in like a maximum bid of 16.50 or something like that. Um, and no one else bid on it, or they did bid on it. And it pushed my price up a bit, but it didn't reach my maximum. So yeah, I'll get a photo of that, just so you know how much I paid for that. But for the age, the box isn't bad, you know. You've got a bit of edge wear and stuff, but it's solid. It's a solid box. There's no rips or anything. So there's not even any, like where a stick has been and has ripped the box or anything so i'm really happy with that um on saturday me and laura went around a few charity shops as you do we went to town and i was like can we please go to the charity shops so i'll just show you some pickups there i come across these you don't come across these very often i know they're not anything special but it's demo discs of the playstation 2 so you would have got these with official playstation magazine or official playstation magazine 2 i think it was called um so a few demo discs there's four of them in total they uh, I don't think there's anything really noteworthy on these. Um, to be honest, I haven't checked. Oh, you've got Simpsons Hit and Run, so that'd be pretty cool. Um, what else we got on these? Starsky and Hutch, Mage Group, Tekken 4, Final Fantasy X. Um, Britney's Dance Beat. Yeah, you know, can't go wrong. Uh, GT Concept, Ape Escape 2. Yeah, so... You know, you can have a little taster of some of these games, can't you? I paid a pound each for them, so that was four quid. I, was, it's, it's a pound each, isn't it? You know, so and they're cool to have. And then we went to another charity shop, and they had games and DVDs. Not many games, um, but I noticed on the DVDs they were fifty pence each or two for a pound. Now, no, that doesn't make sense. Fifty pence each or three for a pound. Now, there was a couple of games in that as well, and they were all labelled as 50p, so I thought I'd take the opportunity. I saw Assassin's Creed. Now, I'm not an Assassin's Creed fan, but I remember having the first one, and I played through it, and I really liked it. And then the others, the second one I didn't like, and I just never went back to any of them because I just thought they just it's just one of those series that's just going to go downhill. So to me, the first one was an awesome game, hence why I picked that up. So 50p for that. And then I found Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix DVD, brand new sealed. Now, this doesn't trade in for much, but on eBay they're selling for around four or five quid. So I thought, well, for 50p, if I get three quid back for that, awesome. And I also got Twilight, the new moon. Now, the only reason I got this was because it had a lenticular sleeve. So I thought, well, maybe, I don't know about Twilight. Is there going to be someone who collects and thinks that that's pretty cool? Who knows? It's a different variant, isn't it? So, for for a pound for all those, like I said, I'm going to keep that. I know it's the platinum version, but I'm just going to play that for a bit of fun. You know, not really my collection. It's just some fun. And then I'll try and sell these. If I get a pound each for them, it's two pound. I'm a pound up and I've got a free game. So, you know, I'm not holding my breath with them, but we'll see what happens. And then some more eBay purchases. I'm going to have to get up for this. Sorry, because uh, they're quite far away. I got a PS2, a boxed PS2. Now, I never knew they came with this out, out of sleeve. I had a PS2, but mine was in the blue box, and I can't ever remember this out of sleeve. So when I was seeing these on eBay, I was thinking, oh, they must be another version. They're not the original version. But no, it's an out of sleeve. When I seen this listing, the outer sleeve does have a rip there, I'm not going to lie, but the interior box, which is the box I know and love. Oh, let's see if I can open it. There. Is absolutely gorgeous. You know, there's a, there's a little scuff by there, but I'm not going to moan at that. That's a really good condition box for the age, so... Yeah, I'm more than happy with that. I think I paid about 70 quid for this, so it wasn't the cheapest. What did I pay 60? I don't know, I'll put it up on screen. But for a box, PlayStation 2 is fully capable. The only issue was it didn't have an official controller with it. But 
I have one up there, so I chucked that in with it. So now we have a complete one. As you saw in my last pickup video, it's over there ready to go. I've got the PlayStation 2 demo that came with the, the actual console. So we've got a complete PlayStation 2, which is nice. Now this get, this purchase, kind of jumped the gun a bit on this one. Um, I'd like, like some of your feedback on this because this is how I, because this is an expensive item. The game fund could have afforded it, but it would have wiped a lot out of it. So what I did, I, I paid for it with PayPal Pay in three. So I think it was like 55 quid up front and 55 quid next month, 55 quid the month after. So I thought rather than wipe the game fund out, what I'll do is every month I'll deduct the 55 pound out and hopefully in the meantime, we'll build the game fund up a bit and then it's not gonna hit it as hard. So that was my reasoning behind it. But it's something I've wanted for ages. It's something I mentioned on my no smoking video. I'm just going to show you. It is the God of War PS4 Collector's Edition. Now, this is the PS4 Pro. I don't have a PS4 Pro, so now I do. One terabyte, and I absolutely love God of War. I had to have this. Um, the reason I bought this as well, so flippantly, in CEX, these are selling for 230 quid. I'll put a little screenshot up there. Now this, I was on an auction bidding. I think I paid 175 quid for this. So I got it effectively 55 pound cheaper than what I was going to pay for it, which I think is an absolute steal. Um, a PS4 Pro was worth a few quid, so never mind the God of War edition, boxed complete. Um, I'll put some photos up of the actual listing. This thing is mint, it's absolutely mint. So I am really happy with that. So leave in the comments what you think I should do with that. Should I? Pay for it monthly out of the game fund, or should I just take... Because 55 is paid for now. There's like 150, uh, 120 quid left to pay on it. Or do I just take the 120 out of the game fund? You, leave in the comments what you think I should do with that. And now we got some purchases as well, which I didn't actually open. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Take a look at this video. I went to a charity shop yesterday. Um, you may have seen my short, but to me, this is the best, best charity shop find I've had in a long time. I can't believe. Um, the yeah. <laughs> and here it is in all this glory, a sealed PlayStation 2 controller for £9.50. Can you get over that? Now these on eBay, they're selling on average around 70 to 80 quid. You can get the odd one that's cheaper, but you've got to be fast. So that, I, I definitely couldn't leave that there. Now if you watch my biggest pickup video, you'll see that I bought this. Now this, remember I said I wasn't sure if it was sealed or not because there's tape on the back? Well, it turns out it's not sealed. Um, they said it had been used, but I couldn't work out how they'd opened it. But what they'd done, they'd cut the back out very gently, used the controller, put it back in, and then just taped it up. Now, they haven't sold it as sealed, so I can't complain. But what I did was, because sealed ones were like 75 quid, I, I paid 50 for this. Um, because it's in the box and I thought oh well for 50 quid that's going to look really nice now I have actually got a sealed one now for £9.50 so do I keep that ladies and gentlemen or do I keep the sealed and get rid of that let me know what you think I should do I'm contemplating selling this now um, even if I get 30 quid for it that means I've spent like 40 quid on a sealed no I spent £59, and if I get out, there'll be £29 then for that. Or I might get more for it, I don't know. So leave in the comments what you think I should do with that, or should I just keep both of them, because it's a bit of history, isn't it? And then if I ever want to use one, I can't want to use. Who knows? But £9.50, that was an absolute steal. I And I caught it just by chance. I went in, there was no games, or no games of note anyway. I was literally walking out of the door, and where the door was open, I turned to my right, and through the glass of the door, I could see... On the shelf, as I, I know that box, I thought it may have been a third party one, so I went over and checked, and hell no, can't get over it, really can't get over that. So I am chuffed to bits with that, as you can probably tell. Now, some more orders have come, and I haven't actually opened them. I thought they, uh, they came a couple of days ago, and I thought, well, rather than open them and just show you, we'll just open them together, can't we? So I've stacked them all up here. 
And some of it, I can't even remember what it is because I've all, I keep ordering stuff all of the time. So, this one came today, actually. This is, oh, I know what this is. This is another demo, but for the PlayStation, the original PlayStation. I got it because it had Resident Evil 2 on there. Now, I know you're thinking, yeah, you've got the game, Wayne, why'd you want it? But I thought it'd be a cool idea to try and collect all the official PlayStation magazines and demos. Now, I'm not going straight down that route. Now, I'm not going straight down the route and like, right, let's get them all now. But if I come across them and they're a reasonable price, I think that's what I'm going to do. But you all know that I love Resident Evil and to have a demo of Resident Evil, it's just a part of history, isn't it? I'll go with the collection. Um, super happy with that. I've even got the demo Rascal. I don't know if any of you played the game Rascal. I used to have that game. I loved that game and they brought that back to me. I forgot all about that game. So I'm going to have a look for that. And it's got Gex 3D on there and stuff. So yeah, cool little demo. Um, I paid $9.99 for that, which is a lot for a demo. But when things have got Resident Evil and Silent Hill, the prices just seem to jump right up. Um, and that's just the way the bidding went. Yeah, it was a 10 out of that demo. That's crazy. Now, I'm not sure what's in this box, but we shall soon find out. Wowzers. There's some bubble wrap in there. Okay, it's a controller. I'm going to tell you that much. Right, okay. So it is a PS3 controller. The red variant. Now, I said I want to start collecting all the different variants. So I haven't got a full list yet. I've basically gone on CEX and found as many as I can find that they stock. But I want to try and get all the PS3 different colours, all the PS2 and all the PS1s. So that's a red one for the collection. Oh, it's even lighting up. They even charged it for me. Beautiful. Right. So that's that. That's two down. Oh, this is a nice big one. Another controller. <laughs> Before long, I have more controllers and I'm going to know what to do with. Now, this is a PlayStation 1 controller. It is like an aqua blue colour. I don't know the actual name of the colour. It might be emerald. Or is emerald green? I don't know. But... seems okay so yeah it's like the blue but see-through as well so that's pretty cool could do with a bit of a cleanup there's a bit of yellowing on it um but we'll get some alcohol on that and see see how that turns out we'll just cover it in strongbow you know yay right what is this one Oh, another one there. Wow. Parcels everywhere. Do you know what? I think I might just change the channel to parcel opening because that's all I seem to be doing lately. Ah, I know what this is. So, it's another PS3 controller. Easy, easy, use some bubble wrap. And it is the gold version PS3 controller. Let's just check. Well, that one's not lighting up, so there's no battery in that one. But I'm going to give all these a run through later anyway and see if they work in. So that, that's pretty cool, isn't it? So my idea with the controllers are I want to try and get three setups 
like like in a stately home then you'd have the, well they have like gun racks and they have all their different rifles and shotguns laid out so you can just get one off so that's what i want to try and do with the i want to get like wall mounted controller holders a row of all the ps1s a row of all the ps2s and a row of all the ps3s all the different colors and then when i'm going to game i can just pick which color i want what mood i'm in and bosh there we go so that is the plan whether it comes to fruition or not is another story um and obviously i'm gonna have to get all the controllers some of them are expensive. This one's a game, it's not a controller. <sighs> Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. Now, I did say I bought this off Vinted. That was purely because it worked out a lot cheaper than buying it from CEX. I can't remember what I paid for it, so I'll... Stick it up in the in the corner there. But it was cheaper than getting it from CEX, so that's why I'd done that. So now I do have every Tony Hawk's Pro Skater game on the PlayStation, which is nice. And then we got a nice big box here. This one looks like it's going to be tricky to open. I must have used a whole roll of tape on here. And we got a 12 pack of cat pouches. No, I'm joking. Um, and I've spent a fortune these last couple of weeks, honestly. Honest to God. Oh, I know what this is. I know, I know. Didn't realize how small this box would be. It is a box complete PS1. Now I do have a PS1, I don't have a box one, so this was nice to add to the collection. A nice box PS1, it's got everything in there. As I remember from the photos, the manuals and everything like that, the inserts, all the manuals, nice. I do believe it's got the wrong controller, it has. It's got the original PlayStation controller not the PS1, but just so happens I've got one on uh, display by there, so that PS1 can go in here. You know, the PS is a, it's the analog one, but it actually says PS1 on it rather than PlayStation. So that will go in with that and sit nice. So currently now I have a box PlayStation, PS1, PlayStation 2, PS2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 3 Slim. Yes. And then... PS4, PS4, God of War, PS4, Metal Gear, and a PS5. So it's just the Metal Gear, uh, PlayStation Super Slim, three Super Slim. That's all I need. I've got all of them boxed then. But I probably won't get them, if I'm honest, because I want to get the God of War version. So that, that'll scratch my itch for those. Right. Um, now this, I, I got a feeling I know what this is. Now this is off another YouTuber. So shout out to... Chris over at Retro Smash TV. This is his channel here. I'll leave a link in the description for you to go check him out. Sound guy is Chris. He's a really nice guy. He does a similar thing to me. Um, game collecting. Um, going around car boots, charity shops, things like that. Trading in, getting credit, upgrading. Bit of uh, reselling as well. Um, to build his game collection. Now he's doing a really nice job of... He's trying to keep things to a budget, so he he's trying to show people that you can collect on a on a lower budget. Whereas I'm more of a splurger. I, I get that. I know that. I can't help it. If I got a bit of money there, it's, it's got to go, which kind of ruins my game fund. But Chris isn't. He's really switched on. He's a you know a clever guy, and yeah, he's showing people how to collect these games on a budget. And you know, I should really take a leaf out of his book. So please do me a favor. Go over to his channel. Give him a watch, and if you like what you see, subscribe, because he's a real stand-up guy. Um, his editing is far better than mine as well, and the music he uses and stuff is a much better vibe than my channel. I just can't do the things that he can do, so you're stuck with basics with me, unfortunately. But yeah, Chris Chris is a really good, good channel, so that's Retro Smash TV. Now, I bought this off him quite a while ago. 
It is a NES bag. Still in the wrapping. Never been used. It's like a like a satchel, so I can be like Indiana Jones. It's where I keep all my things. I get a lot of compliments on this. Plus, it's not a man purse. It's called a satchel. Indiana Jones wears one. And, yeah, I just thought it was cool, man. Real cool. Now, he picked this up at a car boot sale or a charity shop or something like that. <clears throat> he was going to keep it, but I think he decided to flip it in the end. So he, he just mentioned on his channel if anyone's interested in picking that up. So I was like, hell yeah. So this is going to be my car boot sale bag now. So when I'm trotting around car boots, you'll see me come in because I'll have this on. And the last one, now this is a mystery. <clears throat> this is of a good friend of mine, Rick's Retro Corner on Instagram. I will leave a link to his profile down below. This is probably my first ever fan mail, actually. Now, I didn't ask for this. I didn't order anything. I didn't buy anything off him. So he watched my video about me giving up smoking. He gave me a message and said, give up smoking, you dirty so-and-so. So I said, I'm going to try. I am going to try. And he said he's going to send me something to help me, help me give up. So if I cheat or I feel like I'm going to cheat, I got to look at this and feel accountable for my actions. Something along those words. Correct me if I'm wrong, Rick, in the, in the comments. So I have no idea what this is. So it's going to be a nice surprise. What the hell is this? Is that a note? Hi, thanks for your order. Hope you like the print. Melody. Right, so you ordered this off Melody, didn't you, Rick? <laughs> yeah, I, I have no idea what this is, so... It's obviously a poster of some kind or something. Oh, now that is sick. That is sick. Now, he knows I'm a big, big horror f fan. It's Pyramid Head from Silent Hill. He knows I'm a horror fan. He actually watched my live stream and he was quite quite active in the comments as well as I was live streaming the new Silent Hill game. So yeah, Rick, I really appreciate that. So if I go for a cigarette now, or I attempted to, Pyramid Head is going to come and bash me to death. No, no thanks for that, mate. That is, that's outstanding. I'm going to get that framed, actually, and get that hung up. So watch your space. I'll, uh, I'll show you when I get it framed. Because that is absolutely ace. Really appreciate that, mate. Go over and check out his Instagram. Give him a follow. He's more of a Nintendo guy than me. He's got some real cool retro stuff. And there's whispers down the grapevine that he may be starting a YouTube channel. So watch his space. Don't think he's told anyone. He's told me in conversation he's thinking of it. So I hope he does because he's got some real cool stuff. And uh, yeah, it'd be nice if he did. So get on it, Rick. Come on. We want to see what you've got, mate. I want to see all your goodies. But that's it for pickups at the minute. Now, I'm not going to leave the video there. I know it's probably been ages again, another long video. I'm probably doing everyone's head in, but, you know. Reason being is, it's currently Thursday. Friday, I am working in Chepstow, so it's slightly across the border into England. I'm going to try and smash the job out as fast as I can. I'm thinking it's about a five, six-hour job. If I can, I'm going to head into the town centre, and you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go around a few charity shops, and maybe a CEX if they've got one. I'll check it all out. So that's the plan. So I'll do some footage while I'm there and you can see that. If I don't, there's going to be a slight little pause here and then I'll be back in the games room, maybe in different clothes. Who knows? Because I'm a bit of a tramp. So yeah, I'm not going to leave the video there. So you're either going to see me in Chepstow game hunting or you're going to see me back here sat in my normal spot like a... Uh, I don't know, what would you call me? A gnome. So, yeah. I'll see you all in a bit. Whether I'm inside or outside, who knows. So we got the job done pretty quick. Well, quickish. It's three o'clock. So we've got an hour, roughly, because i got to pick the kids up from my mother's. So, an hour to walk around Chepstow and check out the charity shop. So, 
Let's see if we find any goodies, anything worth trading in or anything for the collection. I haven't got a CEX here though, which I'm a bit disappointed with, but um, yeah, we'll, hopefully we'll find something. So we got nothing. Um, I found two charity shops that were open. One was closed. Uh, no games in any of them. Um, but I did find that collectible shop. They had two games in there. Call of Duty 4, which they wanted five quid for. And there was another game. Oh, Pro Evo 12 on the Xbox 360. Um, I haven't checked if that's actually worth anything. I don't think it is. So yeah, that's about it. But we did get a Greg's and I've got coffee running down my hand which is burning so i'm gonna leave it there ladies and gentlemen i will catch you all in the games room so we are back in the games room now you may have noticed that my my surroundings have changed slightly the sofa's gone but i will explain to you in the next video all about that so just bear with me with that but um yeah there's been a few changes so i'll kind of showcase that in the next video. well i say showcase there's nothing to showcase but i'll show that in the next video but chaps though not very good at all there was two charity shops i managed to get in no games whatsoever and then oxfam was closed so i couldn't couldn't access that found a collectible shop they had two games there which were really really pricey so not a great one overall um so yeah that's it for this week guys um had a few pickups but they were things i previously ordered like i said i'm trying to cut down on the pickups at the moment I've still got a few deliveries to come. When they come, we'll open them. Probably in the next video. Well, it will be in the next video. And, yeah, that's it. I'm just going to update the game fund. So, like I said, I have spent a fortune. Um, the CEX lotto was expensive. The week before was a load of pickups and all the pickups today. So, we have spent a fortune. But, currently, we are sitting here. We've got... £195 in cash and 81 in vouchers, I believe. Yeah. Now, I do have a few things to drop off to CEX. And for the no smoking fund, so basically, I didn't didn't start when I wanted to. Um, if you watch the video, you'll notice I recorded on a Sunday and I said I was going to run out by the Tuesday. So I should have started then. Didn't happen, unfortunately. I had a bad week in work and I just didn't have headspace for it. So I didn't really start until the Friday. So I haven't got as much as I was planning as this current time. But in the no smoking fund, we have £80. So that is £80 towards some special editions. So basically, how I'm working that is uh, a pouch of tobacco would usually last me three days. So every three days, I'm putting £20 into a separate fund. And that's that. So... That is what we're sitting at, really. We have got 195 cash, 81 in vouchers, and £80 for the special editions. So, yeah, not great. It's not a, compared to the money we did have. But, it, you know, spending money means we've got some great pickups, and we've still got some money left to play with. So, that's that for this video, guys. I shall see you all soon. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, because I've got loads of people watching that haven't subscribed. So if you could do that, really help me. I want to try and get to 3,000 by the end of the year. At the current rate, we are absolutely smashing it. I didn't think we would get it this... Like this month, I think we've gained like 300 subscribers, which is absolutely incredible. So I'd like to thank you all for that. And thank you for the support. So uh, yeah, I'll see you all on the next one. So take care of yourselves. Stay safe.
Ta-da.